Alright guys, we want to show this side by side comparison and the size comparison between the Hyundai Ionic 6, the brand new one, and the Kia EV6. They're pretty similar in size, similar in price depending on the um, trim level you choose. The cars, pet, both cars are absolutely gorgeous in their own way. So bad to look from the outside, they look pretty similar size, obviously. The EV6 has got a bit of a bigger boot, a bit of a big of an opening of a boot, which I'll get into now. And obviously not as slubbed back, which it does affect the rear headroom. So I'm inside the EV6 with the chair set the way I would have it sat. And this is how it compares. Pretty similar TV. Similarities with the dash. This is a bit different, as you can tell, because that's how you control the gears, but on the Ionic it's different. Lovely soft suede seats. And there's the back. I've done full reviews of both of these cars, but I just wanted to do a little comparison of the two. Right, I'm in the Ionic 6. Quite a few similarities. Obviously, this is a little bit different. There's the gear stick here. Now, you are, a, feels like a lot lower than the uh, EV6. But this is how it's sat, how I'm sat and how I drive. But yeah. Once again, another lovely place to be. Kia and Hyundai, the sister companies and pair of them are absolutely smashing cars out lately, like belters. Now, with my seat back, leg room, there's plenty. Don't forget, I'm six foot five, guys, and there's uh, there's still enough room between, behind me in my seating position. Little charging port in the back. Nothing there, it's blank. Quite nice. Little uh, cubby hole for the bottle. Right to you. Now rear headroom, there's enough. Now there's got quite a big side pillar, so I've got to do that to get out. But for the for my for my tall, for my tall, for my height, there's plenty in it. Really nice, comfortable place to be. Now for the Ionic Six, a lot more leg room. Seems well more spacious in the back. It's a really nice place to be, but I'll flip the down. I'll tell you the downside in a sec. Nice uh, rear charging ports, nice handle, reheated seats in this premium model. Nice little cubby hole there, could be for your phone or something, or in my case, snacks. <laughs> and then a little cubby hole there. The only thing is, you probably can't fit a bottle down there, which is a bit of a letdown, but yeah, not too shabby, eh? It is the downfall. Unfortunately for my height, the sloping roof is just, yeah, I physically cannot straighten my head. So for me, any type of journey, um, it's going to be very uncomfortable unless I slog, like slouch down on the seat. And if it hits a speed bump, 50-50 chance I could get the, uh, decapitated. Um, this is probably the big negative. But like I said, I am freakishly tall. Normal sized people would be fine in the back. Loads of leg room. Yeah, really, really, really nice car, to be honest. Right, guys, from a taxi driver point of view, by far the EV6 wins, for my opinion. The big opening and then the boot space. Probably similar size boot space, but the EV6 has got the big, big opening. And not much storage underneath. Got enough for your wires. But where the Ionic 6, same again. Big boot, but the opening is just restricted. And also, which car has the prettiest boot? There we go. Who's got the nicest rear end? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> oh, it's an hard one. For the I call it a fruit, but Sean calls it a frunk. <laughs> Uh, Key is, is quite small, but it's only because this is the all-wheel drive version. Now, this is the uh, Ionic 6's front fruit. <laughs> it's a lot bigger, but it is rear-wheel drive. And what they're saying is, in the EV6 rear-wheel drive, they have the similar-sized fruit. Frunk. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, which you reckon is the nicest car. Nice one. Front storage compartment, old man. Front storage compartment. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, Kia Hyundai guy, and he says it's well, the, the Kia guy. I have nothing to do with it. 
Oh, so I do apologise. Yeah, you get him in trouble. Yeah, sorry for the for the issue. Which you reckon? Sorry, unbiased opinion. Which is the best one? <laughs> I know, I know. That's like asking the bus driver what to get a bus in Spain, innit? Which you reckon's better? Which you reckon's better? Your opinion, you, you can be unbiased. Oh, do you know what? Pound for pound. Yeah, what do you reckon? I don't know. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to drive. have to drive it. What? I know, I know the way with EV6 you feel a little bit more bumps. I'll tell you now, that drives like the Ionic 5. Yeah. It does. I do like the softer suspension, that's why I like the Ionic 5, because I used to have big moves, but they've gone smaller now. So. <laughs> They're half a man now, we call them now. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, let's be honest, the EV6 is a sportier yeah. car. My so. opinion, guys, I would say that the um, Kia EV6 is definitely, definitely more practical. Looks-wise, it is definitely down to opinion, I reckon. So yeah, it's um, it is a very hard one. I, I, I'm glad I'm not making this decision. So yeah, nice one for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments which you think is best.